now what I do, I still use the app, but I, I let them know like, listen, I am not really comfortable right now to see you. I need to deposit from you. Mm -hmm. I need to FaceTime. So the FaceTime is awesome because I can really feel you. I can see your demeanor. Mm -hmm. I can see your body language. There is something about the energy of somebody. Even behind the screen, you can feel like there is mm -hmm. just something off or something flowing. Like yeah. we're flowing right now. Okay. If it's flowing right now, we're going to flow during the session. So right. I'm, I FaceTime. Personally, I like the, the, the verification like that. So there is different little things that I do to, to make sure I'm safe. And so far, I mean, I had like really like I can count them on my hand, like five situation and one really dangerous, one really extremely that was like borderline, like a close one, a really close one. Uh, and then just situation. I'm not going to say problem, but situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I handled it. Can you tell us about any of those situations? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, I talked about it in the other interview. That's why, but the, the gentleman came with a, with a herbal tea. Oh. So he comes at you as older gentlemen, mind you, that's why I cut corners. I'm like, okay, you know what? Very a con. Because if you can fool me all the way to my room, you're pretty, very good. Mm -hmm. You're pretty fucking good. Yeah. yeah. So the age was, uh, you know, pushing 60. Mm -hmm. Everything add up. He arrived and nothing added up. As soon as you arrived, just nothing added up. It, it was just something about his energy. The age and the attitude did not match. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So why aren't you having an attitude of a gentleman? Because I'm so used to men, a certain, you know, energy. And this one was off. So I know something is bad. And when he was in the toilet, I checked the app, which I should have done. Mm. Four reports. Watch out, ladies. He rubbed me. Push out, he cut me. But this time it's a real one. It's not like a, oh no. Yeah. For, because what I look is the different dates. There were some girls, they like, they would bombard the same day. Trying, right. But that's clearly over the time. over the, the course Yeah, and if the, it's from a lot of different women... I am so panicked at this point. I am shit scared. The thing is that I take my phone. The thing, he sees it on video. So I think at this point, he was scared. He didn't know what was about to happen to him. I think he must have wondered if people were about to jump him or get arrested. You should see his demeanor because I have this five-minute video. Uh, he, his voice completely switched. I, I never had such a, a horrible, like a bad date with someone. Like It was mm -hmm. like extremely bad. Yeah. Extremely bad. He was trying to hurt me, but like physically with his dick, you know, I had to like really clearly stop him. Mm -hmm. He was, he was about to, uh, to, 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 I don't know, break my cervix or something. I don't know what the fuck he was trying to do. So no idea. when you tried to push him off, oh, actually, you, no, he... I literally like, like he was ramming me. Like he was like, bam and bam and bam. Like he was like, and his face, take this, take this. So it was like me, like literally like, like what the fuck? So I, when he was ramming me, I just literally uh, grabbed his stick like this and showed him like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm 95 pounds. Are you trying to break me or something? When So we finished. Thank you, God. It was like extremely fast. He must have been so excited with this little scenario in his head. Because yeah. he's, he's patiently waiting for you to, to fall asleep. He's patiently waiting for you to fall asleep and to do fucked up shit. Because let, let's go step by step. So I'm feeling this guy is just like, he's dangerous. Okay. Mm -hmm. The way he talks, the way, his attitude. We on the hour mark. I have a couple of hours with him. I'm like, I'm not saying one more hour. Mm -hmm. There is no fucking way. He's in the toilet. I check the app. I find out that he's dangerous. Perfect. Get the fuck out. So when I kicked him out, then I was really, really shook up. Like, it was crazy. And I put him on the forum. Ladies, I have him at one point on the video. I, I, I screenshot. He looks so guilty. This motherfucker, exactly like the face you need to, to fucking see here. Boom. Mm -hmm. I had 15 messages from different, different girls. Like, you should see, like, the, the, you should see. I can show you the threads. Say what he does. Once you, you, you fall asleep, one, you thought she started her period after a date with him. No, you, you, you got fucked so crazy that you bled. That's what happened to you. He's a real crazy man. Once you drink that tea, you fucked. So he drugs girls. Absolutely. And then he rapes them. And then he robs. He takes everything. Not just his money, everything that you have. So everything. he robs you. Yeah. And he rapes you mm -hmm. or? Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, when he arrived. It was this whole dynamic because like... I'm but like, you never drank the tea. Never. I had it in my hand at one point. I had it in my hand. I had it in my hand. Yeah. I had it in my hand. Why do you think you didn't drink it? Oh. You just didn't... I even texted him before he arrived. He, I asked him to bring vodka. He said he couldn't bring one, uh, the vodka. And I'm like, it's okay. The is, I, I told him, it's okay. The universe doesn't want, me to, doesn't want me to drink. And when I went back to that mission, I'm like... Crazy. Oh, really? Wow. Really That's really scary. Really? It's like, I already knew. Yeah. Like, it was signs. Like, don't drink. Don't drink. Just don't drink. 
when he arrives, he leaves the money. Okay? He leaves the money, but I remember just this body language is just so off. Like, usually the clients, he give it to me, you know? Mm -hmm. Not like, I'm going to put my wallet on it. Mm -hmm. And he had this, this, just this way. So at one point, when I did get to the money finally, and you know, he's right behind me looking at where I'm putting it. So, okay. I'm like, okay. Yeah. But because I don't know yet, there is this battle inside of me, you mm -hmm. know? And so, and no, no, I was right. This is when I know my intuition is, uh, is for real. Like woman intuition is for real. Yeah. Well, oh, and yeah. especially in your case, you have to be really careful. I have an amazing intuition. Yeah. I know within a few seconds. Have now. you always had the intuition or do you think this job I built always you? did though. I did, but now like he made, he made the, the intuition, like he really amplified it because I, the amount of, of people I deal with. Right. Because it's not just the booking, like the one-on-one the, the -on -one with the client. is. On the phone, like the, them approaching yeah. you. So that alone is, it touched me so much. You know, mm -hmm. just the, the, are you available? The guys that just start uh, texting you, you're never going to meet them, but that touched me so much about weirdo. Okay, this is the, the guy that is serious. That's a fantasy booker. Uh, that's a waste of time. That's a no-show. That's an address collector. We have all that address collector, picture collector, uh, fantasy booker. We have all these names. Yeah. And it, it's part of the job. You have no choice. So, fan, so an address collector just wants your address, yeah. but he's he won't not show gonna up. show up that day. No show, no what's call. What's he gonna do with that address? Exactly, that's scary as fuck. That's why yeah. I always give cross street or different thing or deposit. As long as you give me the deposit, you have my address. No so problem. you do see people at your home. Yeah. You, yeah. you don't see people in hotels ever, or does yeah, it just depend on? When I tour, when on... I tour. Okay. or I go and ask out call to their place or their suite, or mm -hmm. usually I, I usually tell them if if your place is not as cool as mine, I'm not gonna go. Mm -hmm. You come to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, but yeah, if it's a nice little mansion or something, yeah, let's go, you know? Yeah. Do you have um, things at home to protect you if something goes down? No, I have my brain. Okay. I'm going to do anyway. Yeah. You know, like by the time even if I reach to pepper spray or a knife, it can be written against me. Now yeah. I'm having weapon that can be actually used against me. Yeah. If the guy really, first, first he takes balls, <laughs> okay? I don't, I look at odds, all right? You have to, and you know, anticipate. 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 Mm -hmm. You have to anticipate your crime. You know, you have to, you know, have the balls to do your crime. You have to come all the way to me. You have to leave a deposit. You're going to pay to kill me, really? You're going to pay yeah. to harm me? Like, I have my ways now. Don't worry. I'm, yeah. I'm, I got this. Yeah. But this is what I can tell the girls. Deposit, deposit, deposit. I mean, no deposit, no date. And since 80% of the gentlemen are okay with the deposit, the 20% can go to bed. Absolutely. Yeah. Let me deal with the 80% that have no problem. And you, since you have a problem, well, go have a problem somewhere else. Thank you. You know? <laughs> yeah. But you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe I'm too French. <laughs> <laughs> So um, now we we talked a little bit about porn before. You said that you did a softcore thing, but you've never considered doing actual porn, right? No, I would have not be a good candidate. I don't think so. No. Yeah, why no. is that? Because I'm already awkward in front of a camera. I look mm. very awkward. It's not you know, it's not something I really natural at. Like I don't like posing. I more power to the model. I think it's actually a crazy difficult job because yeah, it's, it's so easy. simple mm -hmm. that it's difficult. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I. I I don't know. I'm not, I'm just not good at just staying there static. You know, I'm mm -hmm. very animated as you can see. So it's mm -hmm. super hard for me to, it's almost an effort. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you have to open up the camera. You have to be aware of the camera cause it's not about the experience itself. It's about creating a fantasy for the viewers. So sure. yeah, it's a very different. So even right now pointing at me right now, like something pointing at me mm -hmm. is versus a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, like because it's yeah. intimate the sex. So right now having something while I have sex, being close up and I would be disturbed. As long as I would be disturbed, you would see it on my face and I would not be a, doing a good scene yeah. since I would feel awkward. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. you can see when I'm awkward, you mm -hmm. know, when I feel awkward on my face. So yeah. I would not be like a, a pretty porn star to look at. So I don't yeah. think it was a route for me to take. But one-on-one, -on -one, oh yeah, I am a porn star. Oh my God, I do all kind of uh, hand hands. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. So what do you think that you bring to the table that like has brought you such a big clientele? Like what do men love the most about spending time with you? Oh, because in a way, they, they like the, the therapy side. I'm kind of a practitioner. I can call myself a lot of names. I like the sex artist, even though I get challenged on that. Come on. If you express your skills in you know a creative way, you're an artist, mm -hmm. period. So this yeah. is what I bring. Just the, the way I make my dates is very unique. The guys are usually telling me it was pretty spectacular, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's it's an erotic show. You book my show and uh, I am going to blow your mind. And it's custom to every single one. So it's never the same show. 
Mm. That, that makes sense. And it's fun for me too. So we, okay, 